Uh, it was January 15th, 2007. I was on a convoy going to recover a vehicle for Canadian troops. My vehicle got targeted and I got hit with uh, three anti-tank mines. It penetrated the hull of my wrecker and um, trapped me inside. I, I couldn't get out on my own. I remember hitting the cab, hitting the steering wheel, and then coming to and I was hanging halfway outside of my vehicle. I uh, flipped my harness off and then just the top half of my body falls to the ground. And that's when I started feeling a lot of pain. So the doctors told my colonel, I'm sorry, you know, we can't stop the bleeding. He's not going to make it. So he said, as long as he's going to keep fighting, you're going to give him blood. So they called for an emergency blood donation. Um, and I guess over 100 people came and uh, donated blood. And they took the blood straight from their arms and put it straight into me. And it took over 50 units of blood to get me to clot enough to stabilize me, to get me to Germany. I wound up breaking my pelvis in multiple places, severing nerves in my leg. I broke my spinal cord in a couple of places. I broke three ribs. My sternum got broke. I got a lot of shrapnel and burn wounds. There was a night when they just didn't think he was gonna make it because his the infection was eating away all like his wound site and he was just bleeding and it was nasty and his blood pressure was very low and they, they pulled me and my mother-in-law aside and said, there's a good chance he might not make it through the night. And it was very, it was very scary. The infections were the biggest thing that kept us at Walter Reed for so long. The, they rampaged through his body and he still has them. They're like living inside his bones and it's crazy. With my recovery, at least, it's often five steps forward, like eight steps back. When I'm having to be back down in my wheelchair, especially with our living accommodations, we don't have room for a wheelchair. The apartment is not wheelchair accessible at all. Yeah. You can wheel the chair into the living room, but that's about it. You can't get to the kitchen, you can't get into the, even the hallway. It gets rough because you got soldiers who are used to being very independent, self-sufficient, basically hard, hardened people that, you know, love to do things all by themselves. Now we have to rely on somebody a fourth their weight and we feel worthless. You know, it makes you, it really brings you down and it's hard to, it's hard to keep positive through that. You know, it's, I don't think it's something that anybody should have to, have to go through. I mean, if we had more accommodations, I would be able to be more self-sufficient and more independent. Your self-confidence, it gets ripped out of you and it takes a long time to get that back, especially if you have to rely on so many people. This house will not only give our family security and ease, but it's going to take away a big, big fear that I've had. I did not know how I was going to take care of my family. I've been a person that uses my hands, whether it be in infantry or working on things my whole life, and now I'm not allowed to do that as a profession anymore. I did not want my wife to be the breadwinner. I did not my, want my wife to have to take care of this kind of things. I still wanted it to be my job, but I was terrified. I did not know what was going to happen, what was going to do. And this house is going to secure our family for years and years to come. We're going to have stability and have this huge burden completely wiped away at, at no cost to us. It's hard to see that there's people out there like Homes for Our Troops that really care about soldiers enough to, to completely go out of their way far beyond anything that would ever been expected. I would have never expected anything from anybody. That's the kind of person I was. And I even didn't want to accept this because I'm stubborn. But, you know, people like People like Homes for Our Troops and John and, and everybody, it, you know, they make you feel like you did your job. They make you feel like you meant something to them.